Changing a sterile dry dressing, central venous access. One through nine on your checkoff sheet should be memorized and completed. We will now start on number 10. Place the mask over mouth and nose. Number 11, ask the patient to turn their head away from sight or apply a mask to patient. We would like you to do both. Ma'am, can you turn that direction? I'm gonna put this right over your mouth and nose and turn that direction. 12, don clean gloves. Thirteen, loosen tape appropriately. We use a little bit of alcohol to loosen up the tegaderm so it doesn't pull in the patient's skin as bad. And I'm going to work the tegaderm from the outside in, slowly. Fourteen, remove dressing and discard into refuge container. You doing okay? Wound is assessed and clean. No redness, no swelling, no drainage noted. Remove and discard soiled gloves and wash hands. 18, set up sterile field correctly. Nineteen, Dawn Sterile Gloves. Twenty, cleanse wound and surrounding area with antiseptic, chloroprep brush. I'll snap till here click. Make sure the pad's wet. You have your tweezers, use those here. We do not have tweezers, so I'm gonna use a sterile two by two, keeping my gloves sterile and lift up so I can clean. I'm going to scrub for 30 seconds, any direction. Seconds. Allow antiseptic to air dry. Apply a bio patch if available. I do not have a bio patch, but I do have a gauze for this line. Twenty-four. Cover wound with appropriate cover wound. Sorry. Cover wound with appropriately sized dry sterile dressing. Twenty-six. Assist patient to a position of comfort and place needed items within easy reach. Make sure the call bell is close. Raise bell. side rails and lower bed to lowest position. Mm -hmm. 
28, remove gloves and all protective barriers, dispose of soiled supplies and equipment appropriately. Twenty-nine, wash hands or apply hand sanitizer. Then you will document and progress note and report any unexpected appearance of wound or drainage to the physician. Be prepared to document your assessment. Male catheterization. You need to refer to steps one through 12 that you need to memorize and perform before the procedure. We will start at step 13 by positioning the patient male, supine position with thighs slightly abducted. We then place a waterproof absorbent pad under patient's buttocks. Pad is under patient. Then arrange supplies and equipment on bedside table and provide a good light. I have my supplies and the light is good. Don clean gloves and wash perineal area. Area is clean and I am patting dry. Remove disposable gloves and place in proper receptacle and wash hands. Facing the patient, stand on left side of bed if right-handed or right side if left-handed. Open package using sterile technique. Making a trash bag to put at the foot of my bed. And now I'm gonna open my sterile field going away from me first. Remember one inch around is considered unsterile. Add antiseptic to cotton balls, open lubricant container. I'm removing my sterile gloves. And at this point, I do not need the sterile drape. I will put it over to the side. And I'm not gonna use this one either. Opening my sterile gloves, I'll open away from me first, then towards me. And then when open, go ahead and pull taunt. They should not fold back up against you. Remember to do your hitchhiker thumb. Thumb is in. Sterile. Add antiseptic to cotton balls, open lubricant container, lubricate catheter appropriate length. Lubricant. And your instructor will place lubricant on your sterile field. Take your swabs out 
and lay them on your sterile field. Cleanse perineal area using forceps to hold cotton balls soaked in antiseptic solution. Prior to that, go ahead and take your Foley out. Remove the sterile sleeve. As long as it remains in the sterile box or in the sterile field, you're good. And go ahead and lubricate your Foley. Put it back in your sterile box or across your field. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fluid, uncap, and I'm going to attach to the port. Do not inflate the balloon. Now, I will grab the penis and take my swab. Pick up catheter with free sterile gloved hand near the tip. Hold the remaining part of catheter cold in hand placed the distal end in basin. Insert catheter gently. Take a big deep breath in and blow out. This might be a little uncomfortable. I will insert until I see urine. If it's a male, you should insert all the way to the hub. It is not possible with the mannequin. I see urine. Advance another inch to two. Inflate balloon with acquired amount of sterile water. Pull gently to feel resistance. I feel resistance. Attach drainage bag below the level of the bladder. I will not hang it on the side rail. I am hanging it to the hook. Secure catheter to patient. For male, tape catheter to top of thigh. We do not have a stat lock, but you will need to verbalize at this point. You will secure the catheter with a stat lock, and if you did not, with tape to the thigh. Dry perineal area. Remove gloves and all protective barriers. Dispose of sold supplies and equipment. Raise side rails and lower bed to lowest position. Assess flow of urine and drainage tubing. It is draining yellow urine. Assist patient to a position of comfort and place needed items within easy reach. Make sure call bell is close. Are you comfortable? You want your head a little higher? I will make sure my call bell is close. Here is your call bell. Wash hands or use hand sanitizer. Document type of catheter used, amount and color of urine, how patient tolerated procedure, date, time, and full name and title.